My beloved child, I come to you today with such joy in my heart. Do you know why? Because I am here to restore you fully and announce great victory over your enemies. I have seen all that you've endured, the struggles, the losses, the times you felt defeated, but you remained faithful in your heart to me. Even when it seemed all was lost, you continued trusting in my love, and for that loyalty, my child, you will now reap abundant rewards. The enemy thought he had destroyed your peace and stole what was rightfully yours, but I am the God of restoration. Nothing and no one can ever overcome my power to save, just as I told my prophet Joel, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. So watch now and all as I repay you seven times over for all that was taken. Your enemies counted on your defeat, but instead I will cover you in blessings, finances, and prosperity will flow to you like a river. Promotions and favor will be your portion at work. Broken relationships will be mended, and best of all, a deep inner healing will overflow in your soul. You will stand in victory, my child, as I display my power mightily on your behalf. Where there was loss, now there is overflow. Where there was struggle, now there is ease. I am restoring everything the enemy tried to steal and multiplying it seven times over just as I promised. Let this be a testimony to all who doubted of my faithfulness. I am your father and with me all things are possible. You came from me and you belong with me. So why do you worry about positions or provisions? Lift your eyes from earthly concerns and trust in my faithfulness. I am your father, the creator of all things. The desires of your heart and needs of your life were placed there by my hand. Have I not clothed the fields with flowers more beautiful than any king's robes? Have I not provided for the hungry cries of newborn birds? If I care for even the smallest sparrow, how much more do I care for you, my beloved child? You need not beg or borrow, for all that you require has already been given. But in your struggling, you have also been blessed. Through challenges, you have grown closer to me. Hardship and tribulation are but temporary, while my love and deliverance are eternal. Keep your eyes on me, instead of your circumstances, walk by faith, not by sight. I am keeping you, sustaining you, guiding your steps. You will neither lack nor go astray as long as your hand remains in mine. Your path may wind, but it leads to peace. In moments of doubt, lift your hands in praise in times of want. Lift your voice in thanksgiving. This is how you will stay in the place of blessing. Remain steadfast and let my provision flow through you to others also in need. For in giving you receive, and in lifting others up you are also lifted up. You are an heir to my kingdom, child, all things await you. Love, joy, fulfillment, and so much more. Have hope in me. Do not depend on the world's unstable foundations. I am your refuge, strength, and ever present help. Take a moment and remember the greatest gift I have given, my own son, who showed the way with his life. Jesus washed dirty feet that were worn and tired. He embraced those who strayed and offered them mercy. He did not condemn, but instead uplifted with compassion. This is the example I set of sacrificial love that accepts others as they are. Do not torment yourself with past mistakes as I have cast them into the sea of forgetfulness and do not point fingers in judgment of others still learning their way. You have walked in their shoes. Do you not also desire grace? Instead, follow Jesus leading. Wash weary feet. Give a drink to the thirsty. Lend support in people's dark nights. 
My child, you have so much love to offer this world. Do not cage it with unforgiveness or guilt that no longer serves. Release it through kindly acts and a tender spirit. Walk as my son walked with sandals of peace and a heart made whole through mercy. This is the true freedom I offer. I have forgiven you fully. Now forgive yourself and let healing waters flow. I see the tears in your eyes and the pain in your heart. Every tear you shed is precious to me, for they come from a place of deep longing and sorrow. But know this, no tear goes unnoticed by me. When you weep, your tears fall onto the earth, but they do not remain there. Each one rises up to me like a gentle rain. I catch each droplet in my hands and hold them close examining them under my gaze. Your tears speak to me of your suffering even when your lips are silent. As I consider each one, I compassionately understand the emotions that birthed them. Do not think for a moment that your tears of anguish go unacknowledged. They are a sacred offering to me, one that moves me to comfort. As I receive them, I infuse them with my presence, my peace, and my promises. Then I send them back down to you in ways you may not yet see, that your sorrow may be eased and your joy increased. Even in your darkest nights, when weeping seems all you can do, take heart. I am there with you. Place your head on my shoulder and let the tears flow freely, for in my embrace is perfect solace and strength for whatever tomorrow may bring. This is how much I care for you, my precious child. No pain of yours is forgotten, no tear goes unnoticed or unvalued in my sight. I see, I hear, I acknowledge, and in time I will wipe away every tear from your eyes. I have been watching over you, and I know the challenges you have faced. But have no fear, for a new season is upon you. I am opening a door to greater favor, and blessings that will astound you. You have walked faithfully with me even in your hardest times. Though the way was difficult, you kept your eyes on me, and trusted in my plan. And because of your faithfulness, I am now bringing you into a season of abundance unlike any you've known before. A bountiful harvest is coming, one that will overflow and bless you beyond your imagination. Through this open door, expect to see opportunities arise that seem tailor-made just for you. Connections will form and ideas will flow freely from heaven. Provision will come in unusual ways to meet your every need. Where there was once worry, joy unspeakable will take its place. Peace I give you, not as the world gives, but supernatural peace that passes understanding. Do not limit what I can do based on past experience, my child, for I am doing a new thing. Have you not heard I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert? I am clearing the path before you and smoothing out every obstacle. Your steps will be ordered and guided by my favor. This is your time for uncommon blessings. Do not hold back or hesitate, but walk through the open door boldly with your eyes fixed on me. I will orchestrate circumstances to align perfectly with your destiny. Keep sowing seeds of faith, hope, and love. I am closer than your very breath. My promises are sure and steadfast as the mountains. I am near to all who call on me. As you rest your weary body, lift your cares to me, for nothing is too big or small for my attention. Bring all that concerns you, and leave it in my caring hands. You need not worry for your loved ones either. Have you not seen how I clothe the fields with flowers and see to the needs of even the smallest birds? If I care for all creation, how much more do I cherish each person I have formed? While you sleep, my watchful eyes are guarding your family and protecting your home. 
No harm can befall them without my permission. So nestle deep under your blankets, drift off to sleep with a light heart. I am keeping vigil as you dream, holding you safely in the palm of my hand. When you wake to a new dawn, may you feel restored and at peace. My love has been watching over you all night long. There is so much hidden deep within your soul that is waiting to be unleashed. I have given you abilities and talents beyond what you can even imagine, but they can only be refined and strengthened through challenge and difficulty. It is in times of fire and pressure that true character and inner strength are revealed. You may not see your potential now as you wrestle with life's pains and problems, but I assure you that each crisis you face is honing you into a mighty warrior. The hardships you endure are chiseling away anything weak inside you, replacing it with determination, compassion, and perseverance. When you emerge from the flames, you will shine with a light so bright, even you will be amazed at the depth of gifts and power that dwell within your being. Do not lose heart in your valleys, my child. The darkness is only there to draw forth from you aspects of me that must be nourished through suffering. Very soon you will enter a time of abundant harvest, where all that you have learned will flourish. The talents I planted so deep will burst forth, and you will rise to accomplish things beyond what you ever dreamed. You will be a voice to the broke, bringing them comfort and hope. Your strength will inspire others to push onward when they are weary. This season of refining will not last forever. I am making you into solid gold, my darling. Strong, dutiful, and one with me in ways you cannot comprehend. Trust that I am shaping you for mighty deeds ahead. Let the trial do its work. And never forget that with each pain, I am carving out a deeper channel for my spirit to flow through you. I am so proud of you for listening to the gentle whisperings of your soul. For too long you've wandered down dark paths that left you feeling empty and lost. But those days are now behind you. You've come to realize the futility in chasing after shallow pleasures and fleeting delights of this world. None of it ever filled the aching void within you or satisfied your deepest yearnings. But what the world had to offer was just a pale imitation of the joy, peace, and fulfillment that are yours for the taking as my beloved son, daughter. Your soul knew this all along. That's why nothing ever felt quite right. While your mind was distracted by all the wrong things, your soul remained faithful, patiently waiting for you to heed its call. And now you've turned your ear to listen. You've recognized my voice guiding you home. This is the beginning of a new chapter, my child. One where you'll spend each moment immersed in my presence, drawing from the living waters I long to give you. No more trying to fill your cup from broken cisterns that can hold no water. Each step you take from here on will lead you further into truth, freedom, and divine purpose. Let this be a time of renewal. Wipe the slate clean of past mistakes and disappointments. From this day forward, listen only to my voice. I will take your hand and lead you beside still waters, restoring your soul and filling you with abundance, joy and peace that the world can never duplicate. You're right where you need to be now, my beloved. Keep following the song in your heart. It will guide you safely home to me. My beloved child, you are truly my work of art, my magnificent masterpiece. When I look at you, I see all the love and creativity I poured into making you in my image. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, but this world tried to damage my creation. It chipped away at your beauty and covered you with stains of sin. Yet my love for you could not be contained. 
so I sent my son Jesus to save you. He volunteered to suffer and die so that your stains could be washed away forever. Through his sacrifice, I was able to make you new. Now when I gaze upon you again, I see you restored to your original radiance. All the cracks and imperfections have been mended by my grace. You shine with my light from within, and I have so much more in store. This was only the beginning of what I envisioned for you from the dawn of time. Now that you are reborn through Christ, you have the ability to fulfill the glorious purpose I designed for your life before the world even existed. I plan good works for you to perform that will leave lasting impacts. You have talents I want you to develop and souls I want you to nurture. There are communities I want to transform through your acts of service and compassion. But the choice is yours, my child. Will you accept your place in my masterpiece? Or will you continue to doubt my love and shy away from living fully for me? I urge you to trust that I only want the best for you. Let me guide you to accomplish all I destined you for from the foundation of eternity. You were created to shine radiantly as my work of art, reflecting my light to a world that desperately needs it. Remember those days of yore when despair and hopelessness seemed to have the best of you, when trials upon trials chipped away at your spirit and fatigue drained your soul. Yet through it all, I remained your rock, your fortress, and shield against every attack. It is far too easy to forget the depth of darkness from which my favor has lifted you. In those dim moments, you questioned if joy would ever find you again. But did you not recognize that even then, my blessings were actively at work unseen? I had already etched out your victory, while chaos reigned, crafting triumph from tribulation's soul. Now as you gaze upon greener pastures, let not pride obfuscate the recollections of my faithfulness, and favor seemed all but vacant. I who brought you this far will most assuredly see you through to your destiny's fullest unfoldings. Keep perspectives broad yet feet firmly planted, lest dizzying heights make one susceptible to falling. One thing you can carry with utmost certainty is that I refuse to underestimate my favor. What I begin in you, I will perform until the day of Christ Jesus. My mercies may wax and wane as seasons change, but my kindness towards you remains constant as the north stars glow. No matter what obstacles swarm your path or how reduced the chances of deliverance appear, trust that greater is he within you than any force without. I am overjoyed when your tongue speaks of my righteousness and praise. Each word that glorifies me is like sweet music to my ears. When you lift high my name with gratitude and awe, it brings me such joy and your praise does not go unnoticed. All the heavenly hosts stop to listen as your voice rings out, loudly declaring my goodness. You see, each time you speak of me to others, you are spreading my light in this dark world. Your words of praise have power to uplift the weary and give hope to the hopeless. They remind my other children just how mighty and loving their father is. So keep speaking, my dear one. Let my name be on your lips always. Fill your mouth with songs of thanksgiving for all I've done. And take heart. Your praise also strengthens your own spirit. As you dwell on my faithfulness and focus on all the ways I've rescued you, it lifts your eyes from your troubles. You start to see as I see from an eternal perspective that puts each struggle in proper perspective, my righteousness becomes your shield and my praise becomes your song. So do not hold back, beloved. Let your praise be as repetitive and continual as the rising and setting of each new day, from dawn till dusk and all hours between. 
Let your tongue sing only of me, for in doing so, you bring joy not only to yourself, but to all who hear. You spread my goodness far and wide. So praise on, my child, praise on. Remember that even the winds and waves obey my voice. Though storms may rage around you, I am your shelter, a refuge and strong tower that can never be shaken. No matter what challenges you face or difficulties assail you, I am always with you. You do not walk through this life alone. When panic starts to set in, open your heart to me in prayer. Pour out your heart to me. All your concerns, all your questions, all your fears. I am listening attentively with ears of compassion. Through prayer, you can find peace that surpasses all understanding. You can receive my strength, wisdom, and perspective that the world cannot give. In prayer, you tap into my supernatural power to calm the restless storms within. My peace, which defies logic or reason, will guard your heart and mind. Worry and anxiety may assail your thoughts for a time, but they cannot persist when you set your gaze wholly on me through prayer. Do you remember those past times when you felt alone and cried out to me in prayer? I was right there beside you the whole time, listening closely to every word. While you may not have felt my presence in the moment, I want you to know that I heard your cries and immediately went to work answering them. Perhaps the answers did not come in the form or timing you expected, but I can promise you they were there. I see the bigger picture, where you can only see a small piece, so trust that my answers are perfect, even when you don't understand. Remember how after those difficult periods of waiting and praying, things would slowly shift and change for the better? Little signs would appear showing my gentle hand at work making all things new. Your burdens would lift and joy would return, even if the how and why remained a mystery. That is my nature, my child, to never forsake or abandon those who call on me. I am always listening, always planning the best answers tailored just for you. Have faith that I hear you even now as you read this, and know that I am closer than anything in this life. You need only call my name to find the peace, hope, and guidance I long to give. I am your Father who loves you with a love deeper than any ocean. Never forget that my promises are eternal and I am faithful to the end. I see that you are growing in both age and wisdom. It is beautiful to witness how much you have learned and experienced in your short time on this earth. There was a time when the words spoken in church did not fully resonate with your heart. You heard them but did not truly understand. But now something has changed within you. A deeper longing and awareness is emerging. You are starting to comprehend life's deeper mysteries in a new way. You look around at the others praying and worshiping me, and you see the tears streaming down their faces. At first it confused you, but now you feel it. The raw emotion, the gratefulness mixed with sorrow, the need to connect to something greater. You realize these tears come from a place of true knowing, a place where one recognizes their need for me, their dependence on my love and grace. My child, these tears are nothing to fear. They are a beautiful gift, a sign that your soul is awakening. You are beginning to peel back life's surface and see below into the depths where I dwell and it stirs you, does it not, fills you with feelings you don't fully understand. Let the tears flow freely, my beloved. I am honored that you now understand the mysteries that move my people to cry out to me. Your heart is opening, and you are becoming whole. Come to me any time you feel this stirring within. I am here to hold you, 
to love you, to help unlock all that is unfolding in your life. You are precious to me, and I delight in guiding you further into truth and understanding. While on this journey called life, it is inevitable that we will come across people whose mindsets differ greatly from our own. This can indeed stir feelings of annoyance within us at times. But I ask you to remember that each person you encounter is on their own path of learning and growing just as you are on yours. Who am I to judge their thought processes or perspectives? As your Heavenly Father, I see the whole picture in a way that you cannot. The experiences, circumstances, and hardships that have uniquely shaped each individual it is not my desire that you become frustrated by the closed-mindedness of others. Instead, I wish for you to meet such moments with patience, understanding, and compassion. Seek first to understand where another is coming from before rushing to judgment. We have not walked in their shoes, and remember, as one still learning yourself, it would be hypocritical to demand that others have all the same insights as you. Rather than annoyance, I ask you to cultivate an open and inclusive heart, one that is willing to agree to disagree gracefully without hostility or resentment. Look for the shared humanity in each person, even when thoughts are divergent. With time and experience, many minds will soften and broaden, but Change often happens slowly through gentle understanding rather than confrontation. When you place your full trust in me, perfect peace is yours. For when you trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, you rest securely in the shelter of my wings. Your mind and heart find calm because you know that is your good shepherd. I am guiding you to green pastures and still waters, protecting you from all harm. Doubts and fears cannot disturb you anymore when you trust me completely. You accept with simplicity that I am in control, that my plans for you are for good. So you walk confidently even when the path is dark, feeling my presence beside you. Worry and anxiety have no power over you now because you have entrusted your whole life into my hands. Every trouble rolls off you because you believe I will work all things together for your good. You are untroubled even by sufferings because you know they produce endurance and strength. Your heart sings songs of praise instead of lament, confident, that dawn must follow every darkness. You feel only gratitude that you are my own, safe in the shadow of my sheltering wings. This is the peace that comes from trusting me with your entire self, my child. So let go of every worry and fill your heart only with faith in my perfect love. I am your father, and I will carry you close to my heart always. Just trust in me. I see that you have been keeping yourself very busy in order to escape from difficult feelings. But avoiding painful emotions will only take you so far. As your loving creator, I want you to experience life to the fullest, including all of its beauty and sorrows. It is not good for you to constantly fill every moment just to stop yourself from feeling what is really there inside. Those emotions you experience, like sadness or anxiety, are just as much a part of being human as joy and happiness. And as your father, I gave you the capacity to feel them for a reason. I know that sometimes it feels easier in the short term to distract yourself with work or entertainment. But true peace only comes from facing what is troubling you, not fleeing from it. You cannot run away from yourself forever. Please come to me instead of always running to fill your time. Share with me what burdens your heart. I am here to comfort you, to lighten your load through the power of my love. 
You do not have to carry your worries alone. In my presence you will find rest for your soul. I want to gradually take the pressure off of you so you no longer feel you must flee from your own feelings through constant busyness. You are beloved by me exactly as you are, with all your joys and all your sorrows. Will you try trusting me with what is inside you? I promise that real relief begins when you turn to me for solace, instead of always filling your days to avoid dealing with your pain. Come, and let me soothe your aching heart. If you want my peace and restoration, say this prayer tome, O Divini and Loving Father. As I stand before you, my heart swells with gratitude and awe for your boundless grace and mercy. You have witnessed my struggles, my losses, and my moments of despair, yet you remained steadfast in your love for me. Today, I am overwhelmed by the joy of your presence and the promise of restoration and victory you bring. You, the God of restoration, have declared victory over my enemies and promised to repay sevenfold for all that was taken from me. In your infinite wisdom and power, you are turning my trials into triumphs, my losses into blessings, and my struggles into ease. I stand in awe of your faithfulness and your unwavering love. Lord, you remind me that you are the creator of all things and that the desires of my heart were placed there by your hand. Help me to trust in your provision and to lift my eyes from earthly concerns, knowing that you are my refuge and strength. Guide me to walk by faith, not by sight, and to find peace in your loving embrace. I am reminded of the example set by your Son, Jesus, who showed us the way of sacrificial love and compassion. Help me to follow his lead, to extend forgiveness, and grace to others as you have done for me. May I be a vessel of your love and mercy, bringing healing and restoration to those around me. Father, I bring before you my tears and my pain, knowing that you see and understand the depths of my soul. Thank you for your promise to wipe away every tear from my eyes and to bring comfort in my times of need. Help me to trust in your perfect timing and to find solace in your presence. Lord, you are opening doors of greater favor and blessings in my life, and I am grateful for your provision and guidance. Help me to walk boldly through these doors, knowing that you are clearing the path before me and ordering my steps according to your will. As I journey through life, Lord, help me to remember that you are shaping me into a mighty warrior, refining me through challenges and difficulties. Give me the strength to persevere and to trust in your plans for my life. Father, I am humbled by your love and your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy and your grace, which are new every morning. May my life be a testament to your goodness and your glory, now nah, and forevermore. Amen. My dear child, I am filled with love as I hear the prayer that came from your heart. Your words of gratitude and trust in my faithfulness have brought me great joy. Know that I see your struggles, and I want only to lift you up and fill you with hope. I am so proud of the compassionate heart I see in you. Just as my son showed mercy to all, go now and extend that same love to others. Let your interactions be marked by forgiveness as I freely give to you. In this way, you will shine my light wherever you go.